try to prop the phone up over here to get some sort of cinematic shot of bringing these out and everything else. Waste too much time, let's get after it. Whew. Nothing like an epic sunrise time lapse. Not with these two this time, that was with the phone. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. And last time that we met, we were talking about how to vlog with the Insta360 One RS One Inch 360 Edition. You know, the $800 one, that one right there. So it's been co-engineered with Leica camera, which gives it one inch sensors, epic low light capabilities. The time lapses, you can check it out here. The time lapses are just epic. The dynamic range, like the, it's tack sharp. I can go on and on and you see the footage for yourself, especially whenever I do the simultaneous hyperlapses with the Mavic Air 2, the new one, and then the One X2 by Insta360. I like to put all three of those hyperlapses together. If you haven't seen it, go check the shorts, man. Like it's it's in the mix of it, the short shelf or whatever. But anyways, what I wanted to do today was kind of do a quick compare and contrast between the One RS One Inch 360 Edition and then the One X2. You know, both have their strengths and weaknesses, honestly. And so maybe I can help you figure out which one is right for you and what you're doing and your videos, your vlogs and whatnot. If you missed the test with this, here's the link right up here and go ahead and click it. While you're there, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button for the algorithm. Guys, we are at 347 subscribers as of right now. With that being said, you need 500 to open up that community tab. I wanna keep on pushing you guys and I definitely appreciate all these subscribers. Matt, you already know what time it is, my buddy up there in Minnesota. I wanna give you a quick shout out, man. You got some excellent footage, dude. I want you to keep on crushing it. Uh, Koi, it was great to see you back up in the channel yesterday or last night in the in the comments I, I always enjoy communicating back and forth with you guys and like if you have any questions comments or even funny jokes drop them down in the comments let me know where you're watching from so the one rs1 inch 360 what is it okay a valuable tool for like the virtual tour community the the low light community those people that if you're going to vlog like in florida where it gets gnarly hot like so you're going to want to do that very first thing in the morning golden hour or like an hour before and an hour after sunrise three reasons one this thing likes to overheat in Florida you're going to get about a solid 30 minutes of record time with this before it decides to overheat and it will shut off on you absolutely annoying however every filmmaker already knows that you got to have a plan you got to know your equipment before you take it out into the field and start working with it so I know it's going to overheat in about 30 minutes therefore I plan my shots accordingly after about 20 minutes I go ahead and just shut it down because it only takes about two or three minutes to just like reset itself cool off and then you know like you're good to go whereas this one I have yet to get it to overheat so this is Raven if, like, like just ripping it with the hands, skateboard specifically my right hand like I feel like it just like gives me balance realistically now I know it doesn't but like it's all a mind game anyways like yeah skating can be easy but if you have those mental blocks up you're not gonna get it done I like people hey welcome back so comparing and contrasting so this is more of an action camera where this is actually waterproof up to like 30 feet or 10 meters, whatever they want to call it. Um, where this one here is actually just water resistant. Okay, so now with that being said, this is not sponsored by any stretch of the imagination. You guys that have been on this channel for a while know what I've done with this camera, the Osmo Action. Now. After all the YouTube reviews and everything else that I've personally gone over with this thing, the One X2, there's there's a lot of talk, especially in the Facebook forums, of this thing, the, like the, the doors like to fall off, the seal doesn't necessarily stay put, right? This one's not going to go into the water until Insta360 does release a dive cage for it, period. And I'll show you why. 
hopefully you can see this little gap. There's like this little gap. This isn't sealed at all. So whenever they say it's water resistant, it means you can be outside filming and shooting and if it starts to rain or snow, like you'll be safe, which I get it. For an $800 camera, this is a completely different animal than the One X2. This is more of your action camera, but this one is going to be for more of your more cinematic shots that you want to get for your channel. Like I said, you can do an entire vlog with this thing and it looks amazing and then you never miss a shot. You can be walking around all of a sudden, oh, there's a dolphin. I didn't see it or whatever. I don't have to worry about turning my camera and everything else. But granted, both of these are equally as effective at doing that, right? So the 360 camera, this one, 400, this one, 800. So is it really worth twice the price? We're back to that answer. If you're in low light, absolutely it's gonna matter. Comparatively speaking, whenever you have these two beasts head to head with each other. <laughs> so I think it's pretty safe to say this little comparison real quick between the One X2 and the new One RS One Inch 360 is going to be quite possibly the best, the best on the internet right now um, way to find out. Not only can you vlog with either one of these cameras, but which one's gonna sound better? Now, first order of business, as you can see, we got the X2, this thing looking at me. Both of the selfie sticks equal height here and here. The two final sections at the top, the, the little thinner ones, I went ahead and brought those back down because this thing will wobble a lot. You know what I'm saying? So I wanna give it, like both of them are gonna have equal distance away from my voice. Cord in here, both of them are ready to rock. Let's get this test started. I also got the drone. For the most part because i don't feel like leaving it in the truck i'm going to be walking across the bridge but without further ado let's get it and besides i might end up i might end up putting the drone up possibly not probably not but so here we have it two selfie sticks same exact time Evidently, I parked like an idiot. I'll fix that in a little bit. But now, it's time to go do this. First test, and now this is Tamiami Trail, US Highway 41. The main thing, and it's morning rush hour, so guaranteed to have plenty of traffic. We're gonna go under it, and then we're gonna go, like, up it, on it, whatever you wanna call it. So, I'm doing my best. As you can possibly see, I'll try to reframe as much as possible here, but I'm doing my best. Oh, check this out. No light capability underneath the bridge with traffic going overhead. I wonder, can you hear me okay? I think you can. And, all right, so here's another spot. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to walk pretty much right in the middle. Pretty much right in the middle and actually what I'm going to do this is the one x2 this is the new one rs one inch 360 traffic on both sides as you can see right so ultimate test literally right between them That's kind of cool if you think about it. Ooh, should I do a transition? Maybe I should. Well, ultimately, we're gonna go back. Now we're gonna walk underneath the bridge here. We have some nice fishermen over this way. Everyone's super cool. Morning. Yeah, how you got there? So these are um, 360 cameras. Um, what most people do with like virtual tours 
And the cool part is this entire stick disappears. So it looks like you have like this little flying camera that's just all around you. Like it, it doesn't miss anything. So, so who are you filming for? Um, actually, the, I'm filming for a YouTube channel. Um, a comparison of the two. This one just came out. It was 800 bucks. This one came out um, like two years ago and it's 400. And so I'm trying to see like can for the cheap one. You know, can you still do the same thing with the cheap one? So you post this on your channel? Mm -hmm. Yes, what, sir. What's your channel? Will Beck. Will Beck? Will Beck. Beck, like the beard. W-I-L-L-B-E-C-K? Yes, sir. You'll see my ugly head on there. Yeah. But, <laughs> I, I use YouTube a lot. Oh, and cool. It's a great source of information. All kinds of shit. Oh, yeah. definitely. It's amazing. Did you, did you film that great wall over there? What do you mean? The great wall? Yeah, you go down this side, down that bridge. They put up a wall to stop people up. from going through because of a little trip back. And the really? they will not repair it. That is insane. It's, yeah. It's dated when it was put up. Too. February 2nd. Really? Yeah. So not not this one here, but like on the other side going that way? Go down yeah. down that walk. Yeah. And you can see it. That side, if you go around the black and white, come in, you can see it from that side. Oh, dang, I was getting ready. To, I was just down there because, like, I was doing an audio comparison. Like, which one sounds better? Like, which ones can, like, pick up my voice, like, under traffic mm -hmm. and stuff? Um, well, no, I didn't even make it that far. I didn't see that. I'd have probably yeah. started bitching on there. I mean, yeah. they're like, yeah, you see that? <laughs> I think you, maybe I think you, you should I think finish you, my walk. Please. All right. Okay, I'm going right where you need to go. Okay. Right now. Are we doing that right now? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. I'll talk to you later, Mike. Let's go. Get it done, boy. Yeah. This has been part of my walk for years, right? Oh, up until February. I've come all the way around. You know, okay. Both bridges, both. I didn't catch your name, though. Oh, my name is Will. Will. Hey, perfect. So is mine. Will. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way, right? Well, I'll, I'll see Will Beck because I know this mine is Will. Beck, <laughs> cool. But uh, I'd come around this way, I'd run that way, and then I'd be done. But you see the block there? I do. Oh yeah, the, the trip factor is nothing more than something like this. Oh, it's crazy. So rather than fix it, they, they put up the Great Wall. This is, or the foundation is. Yeah, I can see the foundation sagging right there where the wall's at. <laughs> wow. You guys, I can't believe man. See, this is where... So what I do, I come around here, and I decided they were not going to interfere with my wall. Right. So I tap on the sign just to... And then I walk all the way around, walk back <laughs> down in there. I hit it on the other side, come out and finish my walk. I know, that's right. Yeah, building a wall right here. Yep. Now we're over here. February 2nd. I'm kind of curious if, like, the cameras. That's ridiculous. Now, take a look over there. You can see it from here. Oh, yeah. Look right above the embankment over there. And you see that dark area? Yes, that's sir. Where, that's where the bricks have collapsed down. There's, like, a hole over there going underneath that uh, walk area over there. Right. It's dangerous. You see they've got it marked off, but it's been that way for, like, three months, three or four months. Again, I'll hit the great wall there. Right. Because they're not going to interfere with my walk. Actually, it increases my walk a little bit. That's good for me, though. Yeah, it is. It gives you a couple extra steps. Yeah, it does. That's a low light. And that's the goal. But the point is, they need to take care of their stuff. Oh, absolutely. Maybe it's just key. That's how you avoid lawsuits, right? You take care of stuff. You would think. <laughs> you would think so. But this is the longest they've let it go without any sorts of attempts at repairing it. Which is crazy. There's no reason to be letting it go like that. Well, they've repaired it, like I say, at least three times. But the problem is they need to change the method of repairing it. Right. Because it's not working for them. That's what it, that's what it boils down to. It's really. They repair it the same way. And then within a month, you know, you see it start loosening up. The next thing you know. Ain't that the definition of uh, idiocy, though? Doing the same thing more than one time, expecting different results. Well, I, I was going to say that, but I didn't. <laughs> but yes, it is. That's okay. I'm totally fine with people being mad at me on my channel. This is, it's a beautiful area, too, and for it to oh, be. It is. It's wonderful. Uh, I got to put out top on that. Dude, that's the area I'm talking about, right there. 
God. So what do you think so far, guys? Now, we just had the opportunity. It was a will and a will situation here. Uh, so which audio do you think is best? I'll swap over left or right. Let me know down in the comments. But absolutely, this is a beautiful area. Beautiful area. Yeah, we see the situation there. That kind of, that's kind of sad. guys definitely i appreciate it for sticking around make sure you smash that like and subscribe button hit the notification bell and make sure to share it because honestly there's going to be a lot more tests involving these two and i'm also been pitting them against the iphone 12 pro max and even the drone you know what i'm saying because ultimately i want to find out what the best solution is for you so without further ado we're going to call this one quits i got to get back to the editing room and uh yeah Next episode is going to be kind of controversial.